today I'm going to show you how to solve equations which require one inverse. Remember solve means you need to find the value of x. So we're looking for the number which gives us the number on the right hand side of the equation. So this is how we're going to do it then. Uh, an equation has two sides. It has a left hand side and it has a right hand side. Whatever you do to the left hand side, you must do to the right hand side of the equation as well to keep it balanced. So to solve this equation here, x plus 4 equals 99, all you need to look at is the left hand side and notice what's happening on the left hand side, we're adding on 4 to x. So to solve this we just need to do the opposite to plus 4, which is minus 4. So we need to take away 4 from both sides of the equation. This will get rid of the 4 on the left hand side and leave us with x. So 99 take away 4 will give us 95. Let's take a look at an example 2. So in this one we've got x minus 7 equals 48. So look on your left hand side, what are we doing to x? We're taking away 7. So the opposite to take away 7 is plus 7. So let's add 7 to both sides. So this will get rid of our minus 7 here on the left hand side and leave us with x. 48 add 7 is 55. And that's our final answer. Let's go on to example 3. So this time we need to solve the equation 4x equals 28. So look on your left hand side. This time x is being multiplied by 4 because it's 4x. So the opposite to times 4 is to divide by 4. So divide both sides of the equation by 4. This will get rid of the 4 on the left hand side. And just work out the right hand side now, 28 divided by 4 is 7. So in our final example then we've got x over 7 equals 3. So this time x is being divided by 7. So the opposite to divide by 7 is times 7. So we do this to both sides of the equation. So this will get rid of the 7 off the left hand side and just leave us with x. So work out the right, 3 times 7 is 21. You can check that these values are correct because if you substitute them back into the original equation it will give you the number on the right hand side. So in your first one we got the answer 95 so you can say 95 add 4 is 99. Second one we had 55, 55 take away 7 gives us 48. Third one we had x equals 7 as our answer. Again sub it in, 4 times 7 is 28. And our final one was x equals 21, so let's check this one. 21 divided by 7 is 3.